Hello and welcome to my video. Today we'll be building a hang frame. Hang frames are great for slacklining because it completely removes trees from the equation. Trees can be quite a nuisance when trying to hang a slackline. Trees come in different diameters and sizes and differences in distance apart. So a hang frame allows you to build a structure that lifts the line off of the grass and an anchoring system that anchors the system down to the grass. Currently, there are a few name brands that sell hang frames, but the systems on the market are extremely expensive and tend to have extra features that aren't necessary. These features are things like an adjustable height and the ability to pack down to a small size. However, they take much longer to install and can be confusing. These extra features also make the existing product cost much more. So, I decided to make my own and learn about the manufacturing processes along the way. I redesigned this product with simplicity in mind. I reviewed previous designs online and I adapted them to fit my needs. I reduced the number of components to make the product cheaper and less likely to fail. In addition, this reduced the weight and made the product more intuitive to use. With my design, it is very difficult to improperly install the system. So now that the design is ready, let's start building. There are three main materials used for this project, wood, steel, and nylon. The shopping list consisted of 20 feet of 2x4s, 2 steel bolts, 20 feet of rebar, and 6 feet of nylon rope. The 2x4s were first cut into shape as designed with simple hand tools. They were then finished by hand sanding while paying special attention to remove any sharp edges. The pivot bolts were then installed and the nylon rope was cut to length and tied to the supports. However, the anchoring system proved to be much more difficult. First, I cut the rebar into 8 2 foot sections to act as an anchor spikes but I needed a way to remove these bolts after they'd been driven into the ground. Initially, I tried heating the rebar with a blowtorch and forging the ends into a mushroom. This did not work because I couldn't heat the rebar enough without a forge. I then tried to drill through the tip of the rebar to attach a nylon loop. This method worked, but I wore out my drill bits very quickly and the abrasion on the rope was too high. Finally, I built a simple nylon loop with a double fisherman's knot to act as a prusik. This prusik provided a quick and easy way to remove the rebar after installation and required no modification of the rebar beyond the initial cut, which significantly reduced the manufacturing time. As you can see, this project turned out great. It cost me about $30 compared to the $100 alternatives online. It works comparable to the marketplace versions, uh, but this version took a lot of pivoting and adapting to make it work with the limited tools available uh, during this time during quarantine. But with that being said, have a great day. Get outside and go slackline.